It's new at 530. The excitement surrounding our next mission to the moon is building. Yesterday, NASA announced the cast of us astronauts planning to make the trip, and that crew includes the first woman on a moon mission. Today, Philip Townsend is turning us back 40 years to feature another barrier breaker, astronaut Sally Ride. Next year, Christina Cook will become the first woman to fly around the moon. NASA selected the astronaut to be part of the Artemis II mission, the first crewed mission to the moon in 50 years. But the trail was blazed for Cook decades ago. Seven and America's first woman astronaut. In fact, this year marks 40 years since we sent the first American woman to space. Before she launched into the record books, Sally Ride was just a California girl, an aspiring tennis star. She attended Stanford, studying physics. It was there she answered a simple help wanted ad that changed her life and history. Ride was one of only six women accepted to NASA's astronaut program in 1978. Just five years later, she blasted through that glass ceiling, becoming America's first woman in space. And at just 32, its youngest astronaut. It's a real experience and uh, the experience of a lifetime to be able to, to fly in space and fly aboard the space shuttle. Even after she came back down to Earth, Ride continued to inspire others. She created the Sally Ride Science Foundation, hoping to spark the next generation of female scientists. And just last November, the Antares rocket that bears her name launched from NASA's Wallops flight facility, 10 years after her death from pancreatic cancer. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. Joining Christina Cook on the mission will be astronaut Victor Glover, who will be become the first black man on a moon mission.